One of the biggest misconceptions about pelvic floor is that we need to work on strengthening in Kegels, when in reality, most people actually need to learn how to relax and to stretch those muscles first. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things on the floor. These are wall stretches. All right, so you wanna make sure that you get as close as you can to the wall. I honestly touch my hip to the wall and then slide the up so that your butt is basically touching the wall. The first position is gonna be a sumo squat where you've got your feet really wide. So you should feel a really nice pull kind of in through your inner thighs and your pelvic floor. And then here, what we wanna do is to breathe really deep through your lower abdomen and into that pelvic floor. So think 360 degrees of movement. Number two, it's gonna be a butterfly. So again, getting a little bit even more stretch on those inner thigh muscles, you can push down on your knees, both to get a little bit more if you need that. But then here again, we're gonna breathe really deeply through um, that diaphragm and that pelvic floor. So think, breathe into that belly button. And then the next position, number three, is a figure four. So you're gonna do this one on both sides, but you're going to cross that leg over. This would be one way. Again, you've got four point here and you can push down again on your knee to feel even more of a stretch through this outer hip. And again, I want you to breathe here. Lastly, this one's gonna be moving a little bit more than just holding, but it's gonna focus on a deep internal rotation stretch. Again, find a comfortable place for your feet on the wall. And then you're going to tilt your legs, your knees, I should say, to the side. So really this leg is the one that's stretching right now. After three to five seconds, you're gonna rotate to the other side. I feel that deep in my hip there. So what I would do is spend 60 to 90 seconds in each of those positions. The first three, you're just gonna hold and work on really deep breathing, 360 degrees. The fourth one, which your knees were going side to side, try to hold for about five seconds each side and just alternate back and forth. I'm Dr. Haley Van Beek. Uh, you can come and see me at Fuel Health and Wellness in Grand Rapids if you're having any pelvic floor issues or concerns.